All right, guys. Quiet. Well, I did a thing. I broke the skylight. But on this video, we're going to learn how to replace a skylight right after this. So stay tuned. Well, there's obviously a story to go with this. We were camping at one of the state parks this summer and we had a lot of nice evergreen trees that we were parked underneath. And of course evergreen trees sometimes drip sap. And so when we got home we had sap all over the trailer and all over the truck. So I was cleaning it off and I was, uh, originally I was trying to use alcohol to clean off which was working pretty good but you know, today with all the hand sanitizer and everything, you know, alcohol is kind of hard to get a hold of. So I didn't want to use up all my alcohol for that. So I switched to another solvent that I had in the garage and I wiped it across the skylight and it just disintegrated it. You can see right here, it's all come apart in, in pieces. Put a big crack into here, which I ended up having to seal to keep it together and we could get a replacement. I could replace it with just another one like this. They cost a about $180 for this skylight, like this. As you can see, it's pretty flimsy. It's not not the most robust thing. It's, it is two layers. There's an inner layer and an outer layer. But and you can see also it's gotten kind of cloudy over this over the last three years. Really, it's only all it's been. I decided I'd start looking around to see what other options were available. And then found that a lot of people were going to a skylight made by Maxim Skylights. Let me, let me show you that. So this is a replacement skylight we went with. As you can see, it's much more sturdier. It's got a heavy aluminum frame. It's actually three panels of plexiglass. There is an outer layer, the flat inner layer, and then there's a layer in the middle. So it is much better insulated than what was in there. It should seal and attach better because you're actually going to screw it right in to the Airstream where this skylight is actually just held on by two-sided tape. And the nice thing about this is you custom order these. They make them just for your dimensions and your specifications. So you're able to order the level of tint that you want in your skylight. So if you want it to be very dark tinted or if you want a bronze tint or if you want no tint at all, you can do that. And if you want a clear or if you want it opaque, you can also specify that. I went with about a medium tint on this. I not sure I didn't really know what to get and that's kind of what they recommend that most people get was this level of tint and I think it's pretty good it's gonna let a fair amount of light in it's not gonna change the color of the light considerably and we've got the blinds on the top there to kind of um, shade us out when it gets too sunny but also with the three layers um, on this it should also help to keep the heat out and the heat in during the winter so I think that's a good thing these are also, just in case you need it, they are Hurricane Certified. Designed and made in Texas, and they're certified for the state of Texas and the state of Florida for Hurricane. This company's primary business is making these skylights for like a Walmart or a lot of big stores where you have them in the roof, on a flat roof. But they've people have figured out that they can make a very nice replacement for Airstream, and they've kind of been doing that for about the last 10 years. We're actually going to replace both skylights, even though they rear skylight there I didn't break but I figured you know it would be worthwhile to do that and a cost wise I said this is about 80 to 9 180 to 190 dollars to replace this one it's an additional 40 dollars to ship so about 230 dollars this skylight here is about 250 to 275 dollars depending on the size that you get so I thought this was a good deal and that's part of the reason I decided to replace both of them tools you don't really need a lot of specialty tools to do this. I removed this skylight with a flat putty knife, a very thin, flexible, sharp one, and I was able to work it in between. Coming in from the inside, I was able to work it in between the skylight and the flange on the roof and cut the two-sided tape, like you can see here, off of it, and was able to get this skylight out pretty easy. It's also sealed a little bit along the bottom edge here and just again just ran the, two, the putty knife along that and popped that loose. So putty knife, 
you're going to need a drill, screwdriver, a caulking gun, a wire brush to clean off the old um, two-sided tape. As you can see, we do have a ladder here um, to get up on the roof. Get up to the roof, I should say, and not on the roof. But you can get up to the roof with a ladder here. I'm going to put one on the other side um, to kind of work both sides. That's about it. Um, Phillips screwdriver, you are going to screw this in. You're going to need to drill some holes into it to tighten it, the screws in. It doesn't come with the screws and it doesn't come with the sealant. I got the screws from Home Depot. I'm using stainless steel screws. And the sealant, I'm using a marine um, sealant that is it says it's good that it doesn't harden up it stays rubbery and, and such so it should keep a good seal and not get hard and so we're going to walk you through the process as you can obviously tell i've already got one skylight out but we still have the other one to take out we'll show you how to take that out we'll show you what you need to do to prep the area to put the skylight in and we're attached we're seal this skylight up screw it in place and show you the finished product Okay, so this is the rear skylight, and I haven't done anything with this one yet. And basically, to get this to where you can start to work on it, you need to take this bezel off here. And this is basically just held by the same screws that holds the spline in place. So you remove the screws, and there's one additional screw on each end that's holding this bezel in place. And once that comes down, you have access to get at the skylight and work your way to get it loose. So now we've got access to the skylight we're going to take a putty knife and we're just going to go into the edges here and cut the seal with the putty knife and we're going to do that all the way around loosen the skylight be careful these edges are sharp Now I've been all the way around the skylight and I've got it freed up from the framing here. Now we gotta go outside because it's also got a little bit of a seal to the roof of the airstream. So we'll go outside and we're finished taking it out from the roof. All right, so there's just a little bit of a Now, the skylight can be lifted off, and you're set to clean that up and move to the next step. Okay, so you can see here I've taken out the bezel and I've removed the skylight. And you can see that, you know, once you've got that bezel out, you've got access up here to where the sealant is, right in that area. So I think it's easiest to work from the inside on, on doing this. The one thing you gotta be very careful of is this edge all the way around is very sharp. So I'm standing inside of the skylight at this point. And so if you look right here, you can see there's the seal edge that the new skylight will sit on and where you're gonna put the caulk. And you gotta remove all of this two-sided tape here to make sure you have a good seal um, going forward. So that's gonna be done by using a putty knife but you need to get all of this off before you try to stick, to put the adhesive on here or the sealant on here to seal the new skylights.
was a quick test fit just to make sure everything fits right, which it does. I'll just set it over here to the side, out of the way while I put, while I clean this flange and put some sealant on here. This is a sealant I'm going to use for this. It's a marine sealant. It is a medium strength sealant, meaning that it isn't totally permanent, but it's not, you know, it's gonna add some adhesion capability to this. I, this was recommended by uh, someone on the air forums when they did their skylight. And you really don't wanna use like a silicone product because silicones, they don't last as long as other type of uh, sealants. You also can run into issues if it if you have if you have to repair it or do anything with it. Silicone does not stick to nothing sticks to silicone, so it's very difficult to repair anything that's been done with silicone. Apply a nice bead all the way around on this without getting too much on ourselves. There we trick. This is where it's going to get a little tricky. I've got to reach out, lay the skylight over that flange. And not, you know, drag it or disturb the bead of caulk that I just put down. And also not get it on any spots that I don't want it underneath the glass. There. Perfect. Now for some screws. Hurricane proof skylights. Now does your Airstream need a hurricane proof skylight? Probably not. But if you need to replace your skylights, Maxim Skylights is the way to go. They're much more durable, they're better insulated, and they'll last a lot longer. So we're really happy with the upgrade and we hope if you got some good information out of this video, maybe you're going to replace your skylights, you got a better understanding of how to do that. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. We post new videos on a weekly basis. I'd love to have you follow along. Until the next time, folks, see you down the road. Bye, everybody.